What if I told you that we VE found a rock on Mars that might just rewrite everything we thought we knew about life in the universe? This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now. NASA's Perseverance rover, our tireless explorer on the Red Planet, has stumbled upon something extraordinary in the ancient Jezero crater. They've nicknamed this rock Sheva Falls, and it's not just any old piece of Martian geology. Inside it, scientists have discovered these strange ring-shaped mineral patterns they're calling leopard spots. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. These spots are made of minerals like vivianite and gregite. On our own planet Earth, these exact minerals are often direct evidence of microbial activity. They're like tiny geological fossils left behind by ancient life. But wait, there's more. The rock itself is a treasure trove. It's packed with organic carbon, sulfur, phosphate, and iron. If you were a simple microbe looking to set up shop billions of years ago, this would be prime real estate. These are literally the fundamental building blocks of life as we know it. For scientists studying the data, this feels momentous. Many are saying this could be the closest we have ever come to finding concrete evidence of life on Mars. Now before we all start planning a welcome party for our Martian neighbors, let's manage our expectations. The key phrase NASA is using is potential bio. That science speak for this looks really really promising. But we can't be 100% sure yet. We haven't found fossilized aliens or the ruins of Martian cities. What we have found is a compelling chemical fingerprint that strongly suggests life might have once existed there. So, what does this discovery truly mean for us? Right now, it reinforces a picture of ancient Mars that is vastly different from the cold, dry desert we see today. It tells us that billions of years ago, Mars had lakes, it had flowing water, and it had sediments rich with the right chemistry to support life. Jezero Crater wasn't just a crater. It was a vibrant, watery environment, a perfect cradle for life to emerge. The ultimate proof however won't come from a rover's tweet. The next critical step is the Mars sample return mission. We need to get a piece of Sheava Falls, and other samples like it back into laboratories here on Earth. Only then can we use our most advanced instruments to analyze them and say for certain whether these mineral spots were created by living organisms. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, or just sip your morning coffee, take a moment to think about it. Somewhere out there, on a distant red world, a silent rock is whispering a story of a potentially living past. We are standing on the precipice, potentially on the verge of answering one of the most profound questions humanity has ever asked, are we alone? Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey to Mars. If you're as excited about space and discovery as I am, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Let me know in the comments what you think this could mean for our future. See you in the next video.